Jose Alfredo is among those waiting outside the courts in Managua to try and see his brother. It's been a month since Medardo Mairena, a campesino leader and high-profile government opponent, was charged with terrorism and planning the murder of police officers. Jose Alfredo's only been allowed to see him once. What he heard was disquieting. He told us that in the Chipote prison, they hit him on the head, the chest, the ribs, the stomach, that they put him on his knees and they told him they were going to kill his children. He's not the only worried relative. As he waited to see his brother, across town thousands marched to demand the release of what human rights groups estimate are hundreds of prisoners. They say that a crackdown on anti-government protests by police and shadowy paramilitary groups has meant not just illegal detentions, but torture and disappearances. Human rights leader Vilma Nunez was imprisoned under a past dictator, just like President Daniel Ortega. She says he's become what he struggled against. Daniel Ortega has converted Nicaragua into a jail. There's not just political prisoners in Managua, but in other cities across the country. The majority of them are detained illegally for more than 48 hours without starting their judicial process. They are practically disappeared. The government says those in prison are terrorists or violent provocateurs. Some protesters had weapons and 22 policemen were killed. Al Jazeera asked the police and the interior ministry for comment. We didn't hear back. But the main message from authorities is that now the crisis is over. President Daniel Ortega says that everything is back to normal in Nicaragua now. These marches, although smaller than before, are a strong indication that that's not the case. The people that we've talked to in the country say that they feel fear, but also shock and pain that after a long period of peace and security in Nicaragua, the situation's changed. We saw Jose Alfredo in the march and asked him if he'd finally been able to see his brother. No, ninguna información. No, nothing, no information. We were at the door from 7 a.m. and still nothing. For him and many others here, the wait and the worry continue. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Manawa.